Hi, welcome to the next episode of Where Can You Vest? Ah? Today, we are right along the Roronke Toroku Rao. Behind me, this old building, which will be gone soon, is going to coming out a new development called K-Suites. K-Suites is a freehold development, 19 units, consists of 3 bedroom, 4 bedroom and 5 bedroom. It is located right next to Steel Road. This whole area here are a landed enclave. You can hear the birds singing, that means to say this is actually a very quiet location, surrounded with all the low density or just landed properties. k is located along Lolong K Torokurao, less than one minute walk to Steel Road. Over there, you can access to public buses. If you drive, you can lead you to ECP PIE right across Steel Road. Opposite is actually very close to Chuchet with all the uh, old eateries, shop houses there. Very nice uh, Panarakan area with good foods and a lot of unique lifestyle shops. On the other side, you can actually walk towards Yunos MRT. On the other side of this Rong K Torokurao, it will also link you to a park connector. One side of it links you to Kemangan MRT, the other side links you to East Coast Park Overhead Bridge. Within 1km, it has three very good schools, Taunan Premier School, CHIJ and Head Girls Schools. Walking along Steel Road towards to the sea, you will bypass this road called East Coast Road. Along East Coast Road, there's a lot of old shop houses with a lot of very nice eatery there and one of the fav my favourite stores there is the prawn noodles. On the other side, the closest shopping mall is I want to Katong where you have a lot of new styles uh, shop there and a shop, of course a lot of cafe and uh, a lot of eateries over there. If you walk from there to Marine Parade, it is also about 10 minutes walk away. Alright, let's now go and explore how the building look and what is inside. Welcome to k Suite Sales Gallery. Right in here, we have this very nice model that showcases the whole aesthetic. This is a six-storey building comprised of 19 units. It has 15 lots of car parts with one accessory lot. It's a small development, so the facilities, they do not have many, but very sufficient. They have a 50-meter lab pool with an aqua pool inside there. The most of it, I like, is the simplicity of the whole design right from outside into all the way inside. There are only four units per level, serving by two lifts. So you will not have to wait for a very long time for the lift, especially during the peak hour. Right at this corner, these are the four bedders, which is 1130 square feet. The other side is also another four bedder, which is also 1130 square feet. Right at the back that's facing to the pool, we have the three bedders, which is 872 square feet and the other 4 bedder, which is also 1130 square feet. On the 5th level itself is all the 5 bedroom penthouse starting from 1625 square feet. Okay, ceiling height for every unit is the standard unit is about 3.2 meter but for the penthouse is 4.1 meter. So very good ceiling height for every unit. The layout is all very squarish. Later we will dive deep into how the layout looks like. But I really love there's two units right next to the pool at the balcony or the PES. You actually can walk out right and then go into the pool. So it's more like your private pool. k okay, so is a freehold development sitting on a plot of land. 14,872 square feet is nothing very uh, complicated. Suitable for those people who just want quiet living without much hassle on, on the facilities and everything. k okay, so consists of 3 bedder, 4 bedder, and a 5 bedder penthouse. Okay, generally on the ground floor, there are only three units, but for a typical floor, from second to fourth floor, there are four units per level, serving by two leads. Okay, on per level, there are one stack, which is the stack two, it's a three bedder, 872 square feet. For stack one, that is a four bedder, 1076 square feet. These two stacks are actually facing to the pool. Okay, moving to on the other side, this is a mirror image of four bedder which is 1130 square feet for stack 3 and stack 4. I actually prefer the stack 3 if it's for my own stay, generally because this is a 1130 square feet for 4 bedder. It is a very good size. On top of it, basically, it doesn't face any afternoon sun. So I just need to show you, north is here, south is there, so the west will be coming from this side. So the stack 1, and the stack 4 will have the direct afternoon sun while for stack 2 and stack 3 will avoid the afternoon sun. So if you ask me, I would prefer the stack 3 which is 1130 square feet for the 4 builder. 
So I'm going to dive in more details on this whole layout. Coming right into the unit, once you enter into the main door, on your immediate right, there is a small utility room, which is very great, especially for a 4 builder. You have a lot of stuff, saving a lot of clutter around your house. And then next to the utility room, there is a common bathroom. Leading out there, there is a very nice big living and dining area, consists of about 40 square meter including the kitchens. Right next to this living dining, there is a one junior master. This one is uh, attached with their own bathroom, consists of about 12.6 square meter. This size, you can actually fit in a queen size bed there with one bedside table. On the other side, where all the three bedrooms are actually lay off side by side together, there is a master bedroom, which is about 17 square meter. It has actually a nice sort of U-shaped windows, floor to ceiling height. So you will have ample of lights and breeze coming into this room. You can fit in a queen size bed or maybe even a king size bed here. Next to this master bedroom is a common bedroom. This is the smallest one, which is about 7.8 square meter. You can fit in a queen size bed, but you have to tuck nearer to the window and then maybe have a small bedside table by the side, by one of the sides. This also has a floor to ceiling height, window wall to wall. Basically, it also brings in a lot of lights and breeze. Right at the end, there is another common bedroom, which is about 8.3 square meter. Same here, you can also fit in a queen size bed with maybe a small bedside table by one side of the bed. Back into the living room, it had three. Uh, next to it, there is this dining area. This dining area, you can fit in a six seater dining tables with six chairs, no problems. And this one leads to a very nice balcony of size about six square meter. You can actually fit in the zip track, extending your living dining area into the balcony. This unit is very, very suitable for a family from four to six or maybe even eight of you. Okay, because it has four beta and it has also a junior master which can, you can leave a couple there in the master, you can leave another couple there. And then on the other two bedrooms, you can actually fit in either one or two person in each of the room. So basically, it is a very nice size. Generally, I think six persons, up to seven persons can live into this, no problem. As I mentioned, if it is for my own stay, I really love this stack tree, which is 1130 square feet because it comes with a junior master. And if you have old parents, you actually can put them in there and you use your master bedroom and the other two bedrooms for your kids. Okay, generally this is actually very well fitted for a family size up to six, even seven person. If you are looking for investment or if your family is uh, slightly smaller, you actually can look at 872 square feet, which is the compact three bedroom on stack two. This actually has three very good size bedroom plus a utility room. This is actually good enough for a family size from four up to five of you. Okay, Jerry, if you want to also buy for investment, this is also a very good uh, buy because the price will be lower uh, generally because of the uh, small area is smaller. But if you're looking for a smaller four bedroom, they also have another choice is 1076 square feet. It is actually almost the same layout as the one that we have mentioned earlier. The only thing is only slightly smaller on the living room and maybe on the master bedroom. If you're looking for something that is special and uniquely, I have mentioned earlier is the two units that are directly facing the pool. One of them is uh, stack one. Uh, it's just a slightly bigger four bedroom, is 1270 square feet. The other one is a slightly bigger three bedroom, which is 1087 square feet. They have extra study room for the three bedder. And one thing I love them is actually the balcony actually has a direct access into the pool area. If you're looking for a bigger area, they also have four units of penthouse consists of one four-bedroom penthouse, which is 1389 square feet, three numbers of five-bedroom penthouse, ranging from 1625 square feet all the way to 1679 square feet. They all are very nice layout and very good size bedrooms and living rooms. Okay, if you would like to know more and like to see what house the layout and what are the prices are, can give us a call and we'll make the arrangement for you to take a look. Okay, please share your comments in the comment sections below and do subscribe to us and click on to the bell side for our next video. We really love to see you again. I'm Jen, Jen Tan Property. Always love to hear from you.